you have come to me thinking I'm going to give you a new religion. No, I'm not going to give you such comfort so that you can sleep well. No, I want you disturbed. So, as it's my commitment and duty to show people what I see. Many times you spoke about great masters confusing their disciples with contradictory answers. Does a master or guru always speak the truth, or would he avoid saying the truth if that is what is needed for a disciple's growth? Jasmeet from Punjab. Who is that? Jasmeet. Oh. I think in a way I've already answered this question, you are in the absolutist mode. Uh, there was my... I had a grand uncle who passed away a few years ago at... at the age of 101. He was a very humorous and gregarious man <laughs> So he had a son, an adopted son, and that boy just not interested in the education, nor was I. But I was... I always made sure I went to the next class, because I didn't want to be left behind. But that boy sort of not doing well in school. So when we went for vacation to their place, so uh, my grand-uncle asked me, what class are you? I say, I'm sixth standard. He say, you liar! Just last year you told me five, and now you're saying six. Look at our boy, always he's in number five. <laughs> he tells the truth. This is the kind of question this is. Yes, I said, it's sunrise. Evening you asked me, what is it? I said, sunset. Oh, you're lying? <laughs> what can I do for you, huh? Hello? You flipped a coin and it fell, I said, it's heads. You flipped a coin, I said, oh, it's tails. Oh, you're lying. Tch. But suppose if it's multifaceted, let's say you threw dice, I said one, I said four, I said two, I said three, I said six, I'm lying. What can I do with you? <laughs> you should live on a flat earth. Unfortunately, it's round and it's spinning, never shows the same face to you again. This is why there are two dimensions of life. There's one called, you know, one that is absolute. There are certain dimensions of life which are absolute, certain other dimensions of life which are constantly changing. In a way, this is represented within us as energy and in the world as, uh, well, in human terms, masculine and feminine, Pingala and Ida, sun and moon. Sun is always round, every day round, perfect round. Hello? Did you ever see a square one? Uh, in California, you might have when you're on certain things. <laughs> One day it came up square like that, you know <laughs> But look at the damn moon. Every day it's a different shape. Hello? One or two days it even disappears. Every day different shape. So this is what is confounding people even about women, because every day different shape. Man is very solar-oriented, he wants every day round, like that. Like somebody said <laughs> I don't remember, some American author I think said this. He said, the difference between men and women is, uh, in marriage, women are always expecting the man to change. 
and they're disappointed, he's not changing, he's still the same young brat. Men are always expecting the woman should not change as she was at eighteen, the same way she should be when she's sixty. <laughs> See, one is moon, another is sun <laughs> Every day round, this is not like that, every day it's different, wonky <laughs> So, uh, if I say the moon is round, am I lying? If I say the moon is just a sliver today, am I lying? No, no, that's how it is, but you are an absolutist. You have come to me thinking I'm going to give you a new religion. No, I'm not going to give you such comfort so that you can sleep well. No, I want you disturbed. Hello? I want you disturbed because if ignorance does not make you sleep less, and that's a tragedy. You're ignorant and you can sleep well. That's a tragedy. People think ignorance is bliss. No, ignorance is a tragedy. What do you think? Hello? Ignorance is the worst tragedy that human beings have always suffered and continue to suffer. Yes or no? But somebody says ignorance is bliss. All the best for them. This happened. In the American Airlines, a man was sitting in the first class compartment and to his amazement, a macaw parrot was in his neighboring seat, wearing his seat belt and sitting like that. And then before the airplane takes off, the parrot asks, I want scotch whiskey. The hostess says, no, till we take off, we cannot serve you. And in the choicest of words, the parrot abuses her, a whole litany of everything, you know. You are in Los Angeles, I don't have to teach you anything. Full dictionary throws at the woman and she's like, doesn't know what to do, but abuses her. Then after it takes off, again the parrot screams, I want my scotch. So on the other side, they're doing ting ting tong ting, you know, bottles and glasses and something. And the parrot screams, you moron, what are you doing there? Why so much delay? The man orders a Coke. And he waits and looks at the parrot's power. That he screams and yells the way he treats people, puts his weight around quite a bit. Then uh, he sees this and is very impressed by the parrot. Then parrot on orders one more round and again screams at everybody because it's delayed and the man orders another coke. And now he thought he should also do it, I'm just sitting like a wimp, not asking for my… He also yells. Then this match continues that uh, asks for food and uh, yells and this guy asks for food and yells at the thing. Then the crew has a small conference. They consult the pilot and they come. They pick up both of them, open the door and throw them out of the flight. Both of them are going down and the parrot says, you really have guts for a man without wings <laughs> This is like that. Ignorance is not bliss because life is a phenomenon, a most dynamic phenomenon, but you want to be a fossil. Hello? You want to be a fossil, everything dead certain, because you, su you suffer uncertainty, isn't it? Hello? What is called as security in life is fossilized life. Nothing should change. Now it changes, what to do? Tch, all the time it's changing, it's very dynamic. So, 
as it's my commitment and duty. And it's my mission to see or to show people what I see. Today moon is just a sliver. Should I say moon is round? Yes, it is round somewhere, I know that. If you look at it from the other side, it is round. But in our experience, it's just a sliver today. Hello? No, moon is round. It's not like that. Life, on one level, it is round. It is true, it is round, always round. But in our experience, it keeps changing. So there are different aspects to life. If you think everything is black and white, everything is yes, no, then uh, you must join the Communist Party. What is useful, what is not useful, it's just decided. Nothing is not useful. Hello? Hello? Is there anything not useful? You may think it's not useful, it has its own life, it has its own use, yes or no? A small little stick, is it useful? You may not use it, somebody else is using it. A grasshopper, is it useless? Hello? No, it's useful, it has a full-fledged life of its own. So you are thinking of everything as absolute according to your ideology or your emotional status or your philosophy or your religion. Everything is absolute, this way or that way, good, bad. I keep seeing this even in the news channels, <coughs> international news channels from… Um, national news channels from United States. Actually, the anchor is speaking good guys and bad guys. I can't… I couldn't believe this. You mean… you meet the most bad guy, whoever you think is the worst bad guy, he also thinks he is good. Hello? Yes or no? Who is bad to us, who is good to us is a context of where we are, what we are getting at that moment. Yes or no? You must all at least stop this much. You should never use the word bad weather. It's raining, it's snowing, it is hot, but it's not bad weather. Hello? Who are you to decide weather is bad? Hello? <laughs> Don't use such words because this is all establishing division, 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 division. Absolutism means divide, 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 divide. In the end, fight each other and die. This is all coming because we have an absolutist mind. Mind should be fluid, only then it's intelligent. If it becomes absolute in some way, it becomes a concrete block. With a concrete block, you can butt other people in the face. Hello? This is one use of the head, isn't it? You can butt people in the face or you can use your brains to do something meaningful and worthwhile for you and for every other life on this planet. And this is not civics, this is not environmental science, this is spiritual process. That you use your head to do something wonderful to yourself and to everybody. Or you use your head to make somebody's nose bleed. You can use the head both ways, right? <laughs>